Welcome back to the Road Show. This morning in the buzz, it is time to talk about the weather. What a weekend, uh, one that we, uh, we, you know, we're going to talk about beautiful temperatures, many people out and about in t-shirts. So what did you do to get out and enjoy the warm, fresh air? Because it was, first of all, it was crazy that it was that warm. It was beautiful out. So many people out riding bikes, walking, working in the yard. That's what I did all day on uh, on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, even just the images right yes. here. Look how gorgeous. It's a postcard. It really is uh, uh, how amazing fall looks right there. And yeah, you hit the, the nail right on the head there. I mean, it's just, it, you know, not to sound <laughs> like... Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm melancholic or wistful or, or, right. or looking back sentimentally, but it kind of really was a nice little gift, it so was. to speak, to have a weekend that nice. It really was. With everything that's been going on and, and, and the pandemic and this and that, it was just nice. Yeah, I, I was walking around going, oh my God, we had snow just like the week before, <laughs> and now I'm turning the heat off and opening up all the windows to, yep. to air the place out. And it felt good. Yeah, I was out all day long. Yeah, I, I told you guys last week I like to catch up on things on Saturday. I've said this many times in my time on the road show, just to kind of get things done and catch up, mm -hmm. tidy up, and clean the house. And it was great to just open the windows up all the way in November. And then I, I realized, you know, I, I disturbed my entire neighborhood by wearing a tank top for my power walk. <laughs> but that aside, it was still really nice. It was nice. still good. And I never thought that I would be yelling at the neighborhood children to get off my lawn in November. Who knew? Who knew? Oh, no, you'd still have a lawn, right? But it was just nice, and it, it, I think it put everyone in a little bit of a good mood. Right. And it was just, uh, you know, a, ni a nice weekend. I mean, yeah. what more can you really say? Yesterday, all four of us were just sitting out in the backyard. Actually, yesterday, it was so nice out. You, you know, we have a new, a new mayor-elect in Warwick, yes. Frank, Frank Bacosi, who, who's what I like to call him Father Christmas. <laughs> you know, he puts up the Christmas lights. So he has asked a lot of the residents if they would put up their Christmas lights, you know, to kind of celebrate and, you know, bring, Chris, bring Christmas on. So yesterday, I'm outside putting up Christmas lights on the trees in, in the yard. And I who, saw your post. And who comes walking? Danielle North comes walking along. Wow. So she, she's sitting in the backyard as I'm decking the halls. Yeah, so Danielle <laughs> and I were outside. <laughs> you know, Danielle North, she's just like human tinsel. <laughs> Just was, adding to any situation. Sat outside yesterday and chatting away, and I was putting and decorating the uh, Christmas trees. Yeah, and I, I've been catching up, as you say, on a lot, not only just housework, I'm also trying to have some fun. For me, I've just been reading a lot, and just sitting up, reading outside is one of li right. life's purest yeah. joys. It, it doesn't take anything. You can sit out there and just enjoy yourself. And just so much has been, you know, even today is going to be nice. It's, it's going to be beautiful. Let's bring in Tony Petrarca. Come <laughs> yes, on, it really Tony. is. From it's going to be nice. Earthquakes to 70 plus degree temps in November. It really is remarkable, but just something to be positive about, and, something to make us smile. And I'm, I, I would guess if you maybe are lucky enough to have the day off, or maybe you don't work on Mondays, if the weather's going to be this nice, I bet there will be people sitting on the sitting on the beach. Yeah. And who thought that you would ever be able to? I mean, we're always sitting on the beach here. Let's but, open up the windows. Could, yeah, because the, it looks good. It looks really nice out there. <laughs> it's always beautiful here. It really is nice. But yeah. I mean, I, I was impressed that you got out there and got strung up the lights. Well, look, I did. <laughs> But I have to admit, look, I'm not going to come on as like a, any big shot. I, I did it somewhat begrudgingly. Okay. You know, I was like, oh. <laughs> but my wife said to me, she said, well, why don't you, you know, put up the, some Christmas lights outside? You know, Frank has asked, you know, if people who live in Warwick, you mm -hmm. know, what would decorate their house. And I was like, oh, you know, yay. Yeah. Yay. Merry Christmas. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> but I did get out there. And I did it, and I put some in the backyard, and I put them in, you know, put it on the front, you know, the tree that's in the front yard, just, you know, to kind of like, okay, and then I can like go, okay, check, I did that. I can put that down. <laughs> You're happy warden? Right, yes, you know, it's like it's, it's all said and done, you know, so we, we've got that. I can check that off the list instead of doing it when it's like, you know, 10 below. Actually, you know, that is a really good point. Like, it, it was the perfect day Planning for Planning ahead. Yeah, right. take it easy. Take it, and look, I'm not putting up the Christmas tree inside yet. I know no. a lot of people you draw have. draw the line. A lot of people have, I'm saying this now, like all brave because <laughs> I'm on TV. Tune in tomorrow. Because I, I have you sitting here, but next week I'll be here with a Christmas sweater and a hat on, you know, the, so. I uh, was driving home last night. Uh, Watch well, as being driven, you know I have right, a little well, driver. Uh, and I, one of the, is, as I entered back into my neighborhood, I saw not that I'm peeking in people's <laughs> windows, uh, <laughs> but I saw a tree up <laughs> with the lights on, and I was like, wow, I'm going to see that every night right. now as I head back into the neighborhood. Yeah. It seemed a little premature, right. a little early, but I thought, you know what? If that person, if that's making him sure. or her happy, enjoy it. Yeah. Hey, brother, <laughs> I think the guy from the road show is. Staring at us. <laughs> You know, your furniture looks great, I can tell from your yard. <laughs> Is that from 
Cardinals? <laughs> I think that's Will from the road trip. No, no, you know what, Louise? That's Brandon. <laughs> that's Brandon. <laughs> we like Michaela the best anyway. Well, let's check in with our viewers to see what all of you had to say uh -huh. about this topic this morning. Joanna is up. We've got a, a, oh, oh, a tidal just wave. Sit of tight for this. Comments. Joanna's up for us to sharing in part. Wait, there was an earthquake? Yeah, amidst everything else, the earthquake, of course. I thought a truck was going by. Oops, I took my kids out for a long walk to enjoy the beautiful weather. But wasn't it just snowing a week and a half ago? Yes, it was possible. That's right. Eileen is, uh, adds in her part in our house literally shaked, rattled, and rolled. <laughs> well, more like rumble followed by back to back blasting sounds. Wow. It really was unbelievable. Uh, Jean chimes in with love the weather, but I never felt the earthquake at all. Wow, okay, Gene. All right, uh, Tracy closes things out today in part. Um, the weather was fantastic for packing up. Uh, we bought a farm in our home state of West Virginia. Well, that's fantastic. Going to miss uh, the morning dose of the Rocho. We are live streaming. Uh, thanks for being so entertaining, informative, and inspiring. Yeah, good luck to you, Tracy, yeah, and your family. Tracy, yeah. Thanks for watching. But wait, there are more. Oh, there is we more. We thought that was the end, but some bonus comments for your viewing pleasure. James adds, sure felt good to read my book outside wearing only jeans with the earthquake. I was talking to my boyfriend on the phone and didn't have a clue what happened. Yeah, you're on the phone. You didn't know what was going didn't on. Didn't know what was happening. Brittany Rose uh, Gilman chimes in. Saturday, I spent the day outside and enjoyed the sun. As for the earthquake, I thought it was a <laughs> Mack truck speeding by my house, which is impossible because <laughs> I live on a dead street. It never crossed my mind that it was an earthquake. Yeah, Sharon also comments, I was in the back room getting out Christmas decorations, and all of a sudden at 9.13 a.m., to be precise, the pipes and burners shook, scaring me to death. I felt trapped. You know what? I thought, oh, my God, something's happened to right. the hot water heater. I need a new washer and dryer. It's right. going to cost me an arm and yeah. a leg, so I know what you're saying, yeah. Sharon. Yeah. Godzilla will be showing up <laughs> next week. Thanks for uh, chiming in, everyone. Keep those comments coming, and they might be shown right here on our very own show. Leave a comment to our Buzz Topic on our Facebook page each morning at The Roadshow. Show me a Roadshow. Show me Bing. Still